Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra exponential equation from here? What we have on the left here, we can factor 5 out in the power, and this will come 5 raised to the power 5 into bracket x minus x squared. Then now equals to x squared minus x. Then, in the next step, when we have a minus b, we can equally write it as minus e to bracket b, then minus a, such so that we, we write this, and we are going to be having it in form of x minus x squared, so this becomes 5 raised to the power 5 into x minus x square now then now be equals to minus into bracket x minus x square so this will still become what we have then in the next step we have x minus x square come on here so let's be letter here let a be equals to x minus x square from here then this equation then become 5 raised to power 5 a now then equals to minus a then the next step to remove this a on this side let's raise both sides to power 1 over a so we have 5 raised to power 5 a then raised to power 1 over a then equals to minus a, then raised to power 1 over a as well. Such that here, this power since we multiply, a will cancel a, then we are left with 5 raised to power 5, which is now equals to minus a raised to power 1 over a. And the same thing as writing it. First here as minus a raised to the power one over a now equals to five raised to the power five. Then next step, let's you know use change of variable here as let now let you let one over a now in the power here be equals to minus u. So from here it implies that a will now be equals to minus one over u. And also, minus a is now equals to 1 over u. Then, <coughs> when we make these changes here, it means here we can have 1 over u as minus a, now raised to power 1 over a, that's minus u up here, now equals to 5 raised to power 5. Then from here, what we have inside here, we can also write it again from when we have 1 over a raised to power n is also equal to a raised to power minus n so it implies from here that we can write this as u raised to power minus 1 then raised to power minus u now equals to 5 raised to power 5 then in the next step we can multiply this power then minus times minus become plus. So this same thing as u raised to power u now. Now equals to 5 raised to power 5. Then from here, easily we have u to be equals to 5. Then we can recall from here that a is equals to minus 1 over u. Then from here a is now equals to minus 1 over 5 and what we have here now we can use it now from what we have which is represented a as x minus x square then it implies that what we have now will now be minus 1 over 5 equals to x minus x 
boy. Dang. Like, um, yeah. Multiply both sides by 5. Multiply this side by 5. And also multiply this side by 5. Yeah, this 5 cancel out. So we have minus 1 and equals to here. We have 5x. Then minus 5x squared. When we open bracket. Then the next step, we can bring everything to one side and rearrange. Let's take this side to this side and rearrange. So here we have minus 5x squared become 5x squared. Then plus 5x become minus 5x. Now we already have minus 1 here, then equals to 0 from here. Then this gives us a quadratic equation, which we can use the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And in this case, a equals to 5 b equals to minus 5 and c equals to minus 1 so that here we have x now equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of b squared that's minus 5 squared then minus 4 a is 5 then c is minus 1 then all over 2 tenths a which is 2 times 5. Then when we solve this further, this gives us x now equals to 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared there gives us 25. Then minus times minus that's plus 4 times 5 times 1 that's 20. Then over 2 times 5 there we have 10. Then now from here x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 plus 20 that's 45 then over 10 from here and the next step we can separate 45 as 9 times 5 that is x equals to 5 plus or minus root 9 times 5 then over 10 from here and with 9 there we can separate it out then this becomes x now equals to 5 plus or minus 3 root 5 now then over 10 then we can separate this as x equals to 5 over 10 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 10 and which is also x equals to 1 over 2 then plus or minus 3 root 5 over 10 and here we have two solutions here we have x1 equals to half plus 3 root 5 over 10 and the second solution from here x2 we have half minus 3 root 5 over 10 so we have these two solutions to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe to my channel and thank you see you next class and bye